Coca-Cola is known globally for its distinctive taste and red and white branding. Coca-Cola's journey is not just about quenching thirst, but how it became an emblem of joy and celebration, particularly during the festive season. Welcome to Giant Success Story, where we uncover the remarkable tales behind the world's most iconic brands and their journey to success. Today, we delve into a story that's as refreshing as it is enlightening, the ingenious marketing strategy of Coca-Cola. Join us as we explore how this beverage giant turned a seasonal challenge into an opportunity, creating one of the most successful marketing campaigns in history. Chapter 1, The Winter Challenge and the Happiness Strategy. In the vibrant 1920s, Coca-Cola was confronted with a pressing challenge. Known primarily as a summer drink, its sales dwindled dramatically during the winter months. This wasn't just a minor seasonal fluctuation. It was a significant threat to the brand's year-round profitability and market presence. Coca-Cola needed a strategy that would break the seasonal barrier and establish the drink as a desirable choice even in the colder months. This challenge set the stage for one of the most groundbreaking marketing campaigns in history. Coca-Cola's response to this challenge was both innovative and bold. They shifted the focus from the product itself to the emotions associated with it. The brand aimed to evoke feelings of joy, comfort, and community. Emotions that resonated well with the festive spirit of Christmas. This strategy was about transforming Coca-Cola from a mere beverage to an emblem of happiness. The idea was to make Coca-Cola synonymous with the good times, thereby making it a part of people's celebrations and joyful occasions, regardless of the season. Chapter 2. Santa Claus and Coca-Cola. Central to Coca-Cola's new winter marketing campaign was the iconic figure of Santa Claus. Contrary to the popular myth, Coca-Cola did not create the modern image of Santa. However, they adopted the existing image of a red-suited, cheerful Santa and made it the centerpiece of their holiday advertising. This move wasn't just about branding, it was about integrating Coca-Cola into the fabric of Christmas celebrations. By aligning the brand with the joy and generosity epitomized by Santa Claus, Coca-Cola began to reshape its seasonal image. Prior to Coca-Cola's intervention, Santa Claus was depicted in various forms, from stern disciplinarians to the jolly figure we know today. Coca-Cola's consistent portrayal of a cheerful red and white Santa played a key role in standardizing this image across the globe. Their advertisements presented Santa as a symbol of warmth and cheerfulness, qualities that resonated with the brand's message of spreading happiness. This consistency in portrayal not only helped Coca-Cola in its branding efforts, but also contributed significantly to the contemporary cultural image of Santa Claus. Chapter 3. The Sunbloom Effect. Redefining Christmas Imagery. A watershed moment in Coca-Cola's marketing history was the introduction of illustrator Haddon Sunblum's depictions of Santa Claus. Starting in 1931, Sunblum's illustrations reimagined Santa in a way that perfectly captured the essence of Coca-Cola's brand. These depictions showed a rosy-cheeked, jovial Santa Claus taking a break from his Christmas duties to enjoy a refreshing Coke. The imagery resonated deeply with the public, creating a cozy, familiar feel that was both comforting and invigorating. This connection was not accidental. Sunbloom's Santa was designed to be relatable and approachable, embodying the spirit of Christmas joy and generosity. These illustrations became more than just advertisements. They were an annual event that people looked forward to each holiday season. The Sunbloom effect, as it came to be known, was a transformative force in Coca-Cola's marketing strategy. It successfully bridged the gap between a commercial product and a cherished holiday tradition. Sunbloom's Santa became an iconic symbol of Christmas, reinforcing Coca-Cola's presence during the festive season. This strategic move ingrained the brand in the cultural fabric of Christmas, making Coca-Cola synonymous with holiday cheer. Chapter 4. Beyond Santa. A wider influence on holiday traditions. While Santa Claus played a central role in Coca-Cola's winter campaigns, the company's strategy extended far beyond this single figure. Recognizing the need to diversify their festive imagery, Coca-Cola introduced other elements that would become synonymous with their brand and the holiday season. Notably, the introduction of polar bears in 1993 added a new dimension to their advertising. These playful, animated bears were depicted enjoying Coca-Cola in a snowy Arctic setting, adding a family-friendly appeal that resonated strongly with audiences worldwide. Additionally, Coca-Cola's Christmas trucks, adorned with lights and images of Santa, became a traveling symbol of the holiday season. These trucks, 
often shown in television commercials journeying through snowy landscapes, brought the magic of Christmas directly into neighborhoods and towns. This imagery not only enhanced Coca-Cola's visibility during the festive season, but also played a key role in shaping modern Christmas traditions. The illuminated trucks, with their festive music and imagery, brought a sense of wonder and excitement, reminiscent of Santa's sleigh delivering gifts. Together, these elements expanded Coca-Cola's influence during the holidays. The brand's use of universally appealing, heartwarming imagery transcended cultural boundaries, making Coca-Cola a global symbol of Christmas celebration. Their success in capturing the essence of the festive spirit not only boosted winter sales but also created a lasting bond with consumers, especially among younger demographics. This wider influence solidified Coca-Cola's position as an integral part of holiday celebrations, showcasing the brand's ability to create a deep emotional connections through innovative and inclusive marketing. Chapter 5. Classical Conditioning and Brand Loyalty Coca-Cola's marketing strategy was akin to Pavlov's classical conditioning experiments. By consistently associating the positive emotions of Christmas with their brand, Coca-Cola conditioned consumers to connect the drink with happiness and joy. This psychological approach was instrumental in building a loyal customer base, particularly among younger consumers who grew up with these associations. This long-term strategy was a significant factor in Coca-Cola's enduring brand loyalty. A key strength of Coca-Cola's marketing has been its unwavering consistency. The brand has rarely altered its core message, logo, colors, or branding. This consistency has allowed Coca-Cola to become a part of Christmas traditions. Their advertisements, eagerly anticipated each holiday season, have become as much a part of the festivities as Christmas trees and carols. This demonstrates the powerful impact of consistent branding and its ability to become ingrained in cultural traditions. Chapter 6. The Power of Emotional Connection The Pepsi Paradox Where blind taste tests often favor Pepsi, but people choose Coca-Cola when brands are visible, underscores Coca-Cola's success in building an emotional connection. This connection, cultivated through decades of strategic branding, influences consumer preferences. Coca-Cola's ability to forge a strong emotional bond through its Christmas campaigns and consistent branding has been a key factor in its market dominance. Coca-Cola's journey from a medicinal tonic to a global beverage giant is a story of marketing ingenuity. Its Christmas campaigns illustrate how a brand can weave itself into cultural traditions. The consistent portrayal of Santa Claus and the association with Christmas joy have made Coca-Cola an integral part of the holiday season worldwide. This strategic branding has not just boosted sales, but has also positioned Coca-Cola as a cultural icon. Today, Coca-Cola's marketing strategy is celebrated as a prime example of effective branding. The company has sold more than just a beverage. It has sold an experience, a feeling. Coca-Cola's red and white imagery during the holidays reminds us of the enduring power of branding, a power that extends beyond products, shaping our cultural narratives and traditions. It's a testament to the impact a well-thought-out marketing campaign can have on the public consciousness. Chapter 7. Coca-Cola's Genius Strategy – Outshining Pepsi in the Beverage Battle In the world of soft drinks, Coca-Cola and Pepsi have been rivals for over a century. This rivalry, often referred to as the Cola Wars, has been characterized by intense marketing campaigns, celebrity endorsements, and constant innovation. Despite Pepsi's strong presence in the market, Coca-Cola has maintained its position as the industry leader. How Coca-Cola is beating Pepsi, branding and emotional connection. Coca-Cola has excelled in creating a strong emotional bond with its consumers. The company's branding isn't just about selling a beverage. It's about selling happiness, sharing, and creating memories. This emotional appeal is evident in their global marketing campaigns, such as the iconic Share a Coke campaign, where they replaced the brand logo with common names, inviting people to share the drink with others. Consistency in brand message. Consistency is key in Coca-Cola's strategy. Unlike Pepsi, which has frequently changed its logos, slogans, and marketing campaigns, Coca-Cola has maintained a consistent brand message and visual identity. Their classic red and white color scheme and the timeless Spencerian script logo have become synonymous with the brand, creating a strong and recognizable brand identity product diversification. Another area where Coca-Cola has an edge is in its product diversification. Understanding the changing consumer preferences, Coca-Cola has expanded its portfolio to include water, juices, tea, 
and energy drinks. This diversification strategy not only captures a broader market, but also positions Coca-Cola as a versatile beverage company, unlike Pepsi, which is often primarily associated with its flagship cola product. Distribution Network Coca-Cola boasts one of the most extensive distribution networks in the world. Its ability to reach remote corners of the globe is unparalleled. This extensive distribution system ensures Coca-Cola's presence in areas where Pepsi still struggles to penetrate, providing a significant advantage in global market coverage. Coca-Cola has cultivated a loyal customer base through consistent quality and emotional marketing. By creating a brand that customers identify with and feel passionate about, Coca-Cola has developed a strong, loyal following, a feat that Pepsi has found challenging to replicate on the same scale. Cultural Integration Coca-Cola has skillfully integrated itself into various cultures, becoming more than just a drink, it's a lifestyle. Through strategic sponsorships, from major sports events like the FIFA World Cup, to music festivals and community events, Coca-Cola has ingrained itself into the fabric of diverse cultures, a strategy that has given it an edge over Pepsi. Chapter 8. Conclusion. As we wrap up this episode of Giant Success Story, we've journeyed through the fascinating world of Coca-Cola's marketing brilliance, from overcoming the winter sales slump to embedding itself in the heart of Christmas traditions, Coca-Cola's story is more than a tale of business acumen. It's a testament to the power of emotional branding and cultural integration. Coca-Cola didn't just sell a beverage. It sold memories, happiness, and a sense of belonging. Their story is a masterclass in marketing, showing how a brand can become an integral part of our lives and celebrations. As we sign off, we hope this story of Coca-Cola inspires you in your endeavors reminding you that with the right strategy, every challenge can be turned into a giant success story. Thank you for joining us on Giant Success Story, and stay tuned for more inspiring journeys into the world of business and branding.